Okay, I'm going to be showing how to camo your uh, air gun, rifle, pistol, whatever. So basically I just uh, wipe the gun clean with a paper towel to get all the grease off. You can use degreaser or alcohol as well. Just get it real clean. And then I took some regular masking tape, not painter's tape and just tore it up into different shapes. Got out a razor blade and kind of cut little squares and angles out of it just to give it some hard lines, some straight lines, squares and stuff in addition to the kind of jagged random tears. And then um, I just actually tore off the tape, put it on a piece of plastic, it was actually on a DVD case, and then just cut on that because it pulls off easy once you're done cutting. And then just kind of randomly placed it here, this side as well. And then what I'm going to end up doing is the part that's masked off is obviously going to be black and then everything else will be the rest of the colors and it's basically just going to be brown and green for the other two colors. So what I'll do next is I'll spray paint the whole gun brown. Let that dry. And then once that's dry, then I'll use the blue painter's tape and I'll mask off again in the areas in between that are black now, I'll mask off little portions of that with the painter's tape. And I'll do that with the blue tape because once it has paint on here, if you use masking tape again, it'll peel the paint off. So as long as you let the paint dry, use blue tape, that'll pull off pretty easy. And so once I've taped it again, then I'll spray it again with green, so the whole gun will look green. And then once I pull the blue tape off, you'll see all the brown and then once I pull the black tape off you'll, or the masking tape off you'll see all the black. Alright, so we will uh, move on once we've gotten to those stages. Okay, so I took the blue painter's tape and I just got something plastic or rubber and this happens to be a tackle box I'm just using the bottom. So I just laid out strips of the tape on the plastic and then just kind of drew various random rectangular shapes and cutouts. Took my razor, just follow it along, cut all the straight edges, and then I can just, you know, peel under a corner and pull all those up and place them as I need them. So that's how you can make the stencils with the painter's tape.
truck that will get the job done? This is the Buster Posey. Hey, Rich. Hey, Bus. Welcome here. He was wondering if the girl could be, you know, the deal or swimmer of the compass. All right, here's our final product. Came out pretty good. Here's the bottom, which I clearly put less emphasis on top. I actually drilled in a little hole in the front blade and then put some uh, acrylic white paint in there so I have a better sight picture. I think this side looks better than the other one. It's always hard to get the top and bottom good when you're taping it off and painting it because you're kind of working from the sides. But that's generally, <laughs> you're only looking at it from the sides too. So the frontal view, business end. Yeah, so I basically just used uh, only two colors of paint, the brown and the green, and just basic Krylon primer paint. And what will happen, since this gun has moving parts, the pump arm, that's going to get worn down, so the black will start showing through once the paint chips away, but because of the, the pattern of the, the digital camo, even when the black starts showing through, you still won't really be able to tell that it's, you know, the paint's chipping away because it'll just kind of blend in. And you can always go back and spray it with some more of the colored paint. And I made sure to uh, cover all of the parts and screws, like these little tiny little hex screws you don't want to get those filled with paint so cover those definitely in the breech you want to cover that the sights you want to cover uh, the, bolt, the bolt you can paint over that but it'll start scraping the paint off so I just cover it my trigger I was actually painted with a different color green so it just kinda looks weird but it's fine It looks pretty good. All right.
there you have it. That's how you uh, camouflage a gun. Um, probably in retrospect, I would put a little more time into masking off the black and cutting sharper edges into it. Um, more squares and rectangles. Because you see pieces like that, that's just torn tape. And it kind of strays away from the actual, uh, you know, cubic kind of digital camouflage pattern. So I would, I would probably do a little better with that. Now masking tape is harder to, to cut into shape because it wants to stick on everything and tear. So that's why I, I was able to uh, use the painter's tape to cut the squares and everything in much better than the masking tape. All right, that's it. From beginning to end, that's how you uh, camo paint a gun. Thanks for watching.